you know, you tell somebody you're going to hop in this car, go out there and roll it over five times and get out and walk away. With no roll cage, no racing harness, you're putting a helmet on, factory seatbelt, some gloves. There is no fear. And honestly, up till six, seven years ago, I didn't know what fear was. We don't get paid for doing the rollers. What you get is, if you win, you get a trophy. If not, you get an applause. They are the personality that wants to be a hero. We provide the arena for them to be a hero. With Schindling, I think it is something metal. I don't know. He is, he's crazy. I mean, he'll do the rollover, the gauntlet. Try through steel wall crash. It, I don't, I don't know. They, I guess maybe it's adrenaline junkies. I don't know. In another way, instead of jumping off a mountain like base jumpers, they jump, wreck, smash, whatever. You basically, is put two wheels on the ramp and it should turn you over. But it will also work for guys like me that want to hit it at 65 plus and roll it as far as I can get it. I do it differently, mainly because that's how I started, and that's what they expect. It, and you know, we think the world of them, and, and you know, they they come to us and say, you know, we want to do this, we want to do that, or how do I race a bus, or how do I get in spectacular drags, or how do I get in the rollover contest? That's why if you ask somebody at the speedway about the rollover, they send you to me. I mean, our phones are ringing with people that want to be the hero. It's crazy what those guys will do. They still have to support their families every week. They still have to go to work. And they have to live with their wives. I mean, I'll be the first one to tell you, they don't like it. Yes, dear. Are they down there yet? They're getting ready to leave. Why would they want to talk to you, dear? Things have changed so much from when I started racing to what it is now. Well, it, was my, it was my second year that we were running. We had just put a car together. And in a race car, if your, hook, your front bumper's hooked with somebody else and they stand on the throttle and you hit the brakes, you're going to spin around backwards. And now you're facing all the oncoming cars. The car hit the point head on, flipped over backwards. But it hit the point so hard, I could literally look down and see the, where the carburetor used to be on the engine. That's how much it shoved it back. And that was my parents' first night of ever coming out watching me. <laughs> that was not a good night. I mean, putting, that was a harsh crash. I got a bruise from the racing seat. Some guys get it, some guys don't, and the ones that do, they uh, they can roll their car almost non-stop, and, uh, and we let them do it. It's not about speed, it's about turning the wheel at the right time and just getting the momentum of the car with the driver in it to roll. an art form and the the uh, we got a couple of guys in the field that really enjoy it I find there's a lot of guys out, even out of Rockford that would love to do this contest I mean this is more than just going out there setting a ramp up and saying, okay, this is the way it's gonna go. And hitting it and see what happens. I mean, we do think these things through. <laughs> There's a lot more planning going into them than what they used to be. Have I lightened up? On things I don't know. 
the rollover contest. I mean, there's times I think my wife's got to be a saint to sit back and watch some of the stuff we've done. You know, between driving cars through block, you know, a ice wall and rolling school buses, and rollover contest, jump contest. I had the seatbelt literally rip out of the floor. I broke three ribs in my back, not in the front side hall, in my back. After that, the doctor released me two weeks before the rollover contest. And my wife literally begged the doctor not to release me. You know, because she didn't she knew if he released me I was gonna go. Well when I broke shattered my arm, okay, that was some serious pain. But most of the time if you crack a bone or something, yeah, it hurts, but it's not still works, still operates, you get your teeth and continue on. <laughs> Is there a risk of getting hurt in a rollover? Oh yeah, you can really get hurt if you don't know what you're doing. But I've been doing it for, God, for 13 years now. I think that the big thing is just everybody has fears and it just depends on what they're afraid of and what they want to, you know, what they're willing to do and what they're not. How many was that? dizzy right now. Yeah, I wow. guess so. If you look back where the ramp is, it's about 70 yards away, dude. Woo! You rolled and rolled and rocked and rolled. I can feel it, I can tell you that. I guarantee you can. You Will are... I make my 16? You are the definite kamikaze. If you didn't make the 16, I'm giving you 17, babe. 18. 18. Woo! Rich! Rich! just trying to hang on but that didn't work after the first hit I couldn't tell you what happened I couldn't either you went snapped over have you ever you know you're in a lot of these rollover contests and things of that nature have you ever done anything like that not that number that's A lot of it's still for the show. I don't care what you say. I mean, I'm not paid to be out there to do those things. It's just to put a show on. I mean, standing in that infield and you hear that crowd, knowing they're cheering for you. I mean, there's no way to describe it and no way to substitute it. Because you're doing something nobody else is doing for you.